Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending where you are in the, in the world. My name is Donna Guest. I'm from the Faculty of Health and Behavioural Sciences. For the next half hour, I'll be taking you through some of the many reasons the Faculty of Health and Behavioural Sciences is the faculty of choice for students from around the world. There will be a time for questions and answers at the end of the presentation, so please feel free to ask anything you would like to know about. Once I've finished the presentation, we'd really love to hear from you. If you don't get a chance to ask a question, our University of Queensland staff are chatting from 3 to 9pm and very eager to answer any questions you might have about study, student life and Brisbane. So within the Faculty of Health and Behavioural Sciences, there are seven schools. The School of Dentistry, the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, the School of Human Movement Studies, School of Nursing and Midwifery, School of Pharmacy, School of Psychology, School of Social Work and Human Services. Within our rankings in 2014, the fac faculty ranked very well in the QS World University subject rankings. Psychology is ranked 14th and is in the world's top 20. Pharmacy and Pharmacology ranked 33rd and is in the world's top 40. In the 2013 13 and 2014 times higher ed world rankings, UQ ranked 34th in the clinical, preclinical and health section. Within our discipline placements, UQ has the widest range of health study areas available than any other Australian university. All our health students complete clinical or industry placements within their programs. UQ has its own dentistry, rehabilitation and psychology clinics across the relevant campuses. Placements are available with with international partner healthcare organisations if students are interested in these options within their programs. Our faculty has some amazing facilities. I'd like to showcase one of those particular facilities to you today. It's the new Tertiary Oral Health Centre, which is opening later this year. This facility has 174 dental chairs, 13 beds, two operating theatres, a biomedical research laboratory, dental library, lecture and seminar rooms, teaching and office space, medical bookshop and of course a coffee shop. This facility was at $120 million and it is located uh, in near the Hurston campus which is relatively close to our CBD area. Thank you. Another facility that I'd like to talk about is our pharmacy, our School of Pharmacy. It's a Pharmacy Australia Centre of Excellence, which we often refer to as the PACE facility. This facility opened in 2009. Um, it, is a, it is located in the Wollongabba area, which is just a short walk across to our St Lucia campus. It is the leading facility for pharmaceutical research, education and commercialisation. Um, some of the facilities that are offered at the PACE uh, facility include a 360-seat lecture theatre, a UQ healthcare clinic, and of course an outdoor cafe. Virtual tours of the school and its facilities can be viewed at the School of Pharmacy's homepage. I definitely recommend that you check out um, these tours if you have the time. Some of our health research strengths um, are listed below on the slide. You can see I've listed some examples for you to have a look at. Uh, UQ scientists draw on these broad disciplines to boost the impact of health, medical, behavioural and biomedical sciences research in Australia. UQ is one of Australia's premier research institution with health and medical discoveries contributing significantly to UQ's research strengths. We also have many notable staff members that teach and conduct research across the faculty. Um, I've shown an, an example here today for you. Um, it's Professor Matthew Sanders and he's based in the School of Psychology. He's, the professor, he's a professor of clinical psychology and he's also the director and founder of the Parenting and Family Support Centre at UQ. Uh, the Triple P, uh, he's the founder of the Triple P Positive Positive Parenting Program, uh, which is based within the faculty in the School of Psychology and is considered a world leader in the development, implementation, evaluation and dissemination of population-based approaches to parenting and family interventions. 
The Triple P program is a scientifically researched family intervention strategy designed to assist parents to improve their parenting skills and build positive relationships with, this, with their children. It's an extremely popular program and it's delivered across 25 countries worldwide, most recently in Africa. Um, and we're currently uh, investigating the possibility of rolling the program out in Indonesia. The program itself is also translated into 18 different languages. Next up, I'd like to talk about, uh, highlight some of our programs that we offer within the faculty. The first is an undergraduate program and it's the Bachelor of Pharmacy Honours. This is a four year program with a commencement in the semester one only. Um, some of the requir entry requirements for this program is an IELTS overall score of seven with six in each of the subbands. The prerequisites include English, Mathematics B and Chemistry. The Pharmacy Australia Centre of Excellence, which is the PACE facility, which I mentioned a few slides ago, is the only facility of its kind in Australia and has been purpose built. It is dedicated to pharmacy education and research. Within the program itself, we've incorporated a business managed skill course as we understand the importance of students uh, having these business skills within, within the degree. We've also offered a uh, English language component um, which covers uh, Australian slang. So students are uh, tested at the, in year one at the beginning of the program at their uh, comprehension of Australian slang. And um, then they're offered a position uh, in the free program, which commences in the second semester of first year to complete uh, the Aussie slang course. This course is worked into their schedule uh, and it's delivered on a weekly basis. Uh, there's many practical components within the program itself. The practical placements take place throughout the four years and placements start in year one. We have over 500 placement sites that work with the school and these include pharmacies, hospitals and allied health clinics. There's approximately 385 hours of extensive clinical experience. Uh, so students have the opportunity to practice uh, their clinical, uh, clinical experiences with patients. There's many career options. Uh, once the, they have graduated from the, from the program, these include community pharmacy, hospital pharmacy and industry pharmacy placements. Within the slide on the right hand side, you'll see a video clip link. Please click on the link if you're interested in finding out about uh, a day in the life of a pharmacy student and their placement experience. The student that is focused on this video is Helinda Singh and she talks about her placement within a hospital facility down in uh, southern Brisbane. The placement, uh, the placement opportunities within this program are paid and it's a 48 week placement so it's a great opportunity for students to take advantage of this option before they apply to become a registered pharmacist. The next undergraduate program is the Bachelor of Physiotherapy Honours Program. It's a four year program and also has a semester one intake only. The IELTS requirements you'll see is an overall seven with a seven in each subband. The prerequisites for this program include year 12 or equivalent English and one of biological science, chemistry or physics, although physics is recommended. UQ has one of Australia's leading physiotherapy programs and it's been offered since 1938. Academic and clinical staff that work within the schools, within this particular school, are leaders in physiotherapy, both in Australia and overseas. There's over 1,200 hours spent in placement during this degree and this takes place in the last two years of the study. So uh, there's more than 200 locations available for for placements and students also have the opportunity to conduct some of their placement activities at the physiotherapy clinic which is located on the St Lucia campus. The career opportunities are extensive for, this, for graduates from this degree. Many of our graduates um, have been successful in obtaining jobs in public and private hospitals, in rehabilitation units, uh, they've joined a private practice and some of them have even started up their own private practice. Uh, many have gone on to become researchers, advisors or working as consultants in with educational, industri industrial or government institutions. If 
you have any questions, please feel free to um, ask me. Uh, the next program, oh, uh, from is it Annabelle? Oh, which one is uh, within our program? Within our program, our Bachelor of Pharmacy Pharmacy Honors and Bachelor of Physiotherapy Honors, um, it's a four-year program. So uh, the program is being considered um, equivalent to an honors program. So there's no actual. We don't actually offer a a bachelor's program, we only offer a bachelor honours program. The next, the next program I'd like to talk about is our, some of our postgraduate programs that we offer. It's the Master of Social Work Studies. This particular program is offered within our School of Social Work and Human Services. It's a two year program and semester one intake only, so it's at the start of the calendar year. Entry requirements include an IELTS score of 7 overall with a 7 in each subband. Applicants will also need a degree related to a social behavioural sciences discipline. The benefits of this program include you're taught by leaders in the, in the field of social work and the school has over 50 years of experience. Some of the areas of specialisation within this school that students will have access to is mental health, re social research, counselling um, and uh, social welfare. Within the program you also have the benefit of undertaking a thousand hours of placements um, and they, uh, we have a dedicated field placement team and this team uh, has uh, linkages and connections uh, with various agencies in local, rural and international uh, destinations. Students are able to apply through to all three of these options, uh, depending on, on their, um, their preference. Demand for uh, graduates has uh, been very uh, highly, highly regarded and um, some of the career options that are available to graduates um, is working within the family support sector, disability services, working with indigenous communities, working in drug and alcohol clinics and correctional services. The second postgraduate program that we're focusing on tonight is the Master of Counselling program. It is also a two-year program and commences in semester one only. The entry requirements for this program uh, is an IELTS overall seven score with a seven in each subband. Entry into the program will be considered on the basis of previous academic study, experience and your personal qualities. Please note that applica applicants will also not only need to uh, submit the standard application form but also a certified copy of their official transcript and, and or a degree certificate, two referee reports and a separate Master of Counselling application form. This application form is available on uh, the school's website and also courses and programs websites. The place, uh, some, of the, some of the places within uh, the Master of Counselling program um, are limited. Uh, it just depends on the intake. There is actually no quota for the Master of Counselling program. Um, it just depends on your background and qualifications and whether or not um, you meet the selection criteria. This, the cohort of students that generally do apply for the Master of Counselling program it is a very culturally diverse group of students. Um, many students from different um, countries apply and so you have that benefit of, of uh, working within a student cohort from a very diverse cultural background. The Master of Counselling program is the only program offered within a GOH that has dual accreditation both with the Australian Counselling Association and the Psych Psychotherapy and Counselling Federation of Australia. It has a strong multidisciplinary approach and there is a focus on the cutting edge applied brain-based therapies. The staff involved in the program provide global, global leadership in the field of counselling and psychotherapy and are very passionate about their area. It's a great option for students to consider if they're looking for an alternative um, other than studying in psychology.
Within uh, the Faculty of Health and Behavioural Sciences, I have mentioned that uh, placements are an option for many programs. I'd like to highlight to you one particular uh, international interprofessional placement that we currently offer. It's a four-week placement um, in Hue in Vietnam and it's in partnership with the Office of Genetic Counselling and Disabled Children which uh, works with our, one of our partner institutions, Hue University. It's available to undergraduate students that are completing uh, physiotherapy, occupational therapy or speech pathology programs. Um, two students from each of those discipline areas are selected um, and those six students, along with two UQ clinical educators, uh, travel to Vietnam and spend four weeks in country. It's a great interprofessional, intercultural placement experience for students. Students have the opportunity to work with local physiotherapists and also engage with uh, lo the local communities. Uh, students receive credit upon the successful completion of the program and many students that have returned from this program have found it to be life-changing. Um, we currently try to offer these similar type of arrangements across a wide range of discipline areas. Generally speaking, the students tend to be uh, in their fourth year, the ones that have been successful in uh, achieving um, a placement uh, within this sector within this particular placement program. Um, however, it is available to third year students as well. If anyone has any uh, questions, I'm happy to answer them. Okay, yeah. Uh, I can provide you with some information about the cost of these particular programs. The Bachelor of um, Physiotherapy um, for each for each year, it's indicative of an approximate cost of thirty four thousand two hundred per year across the four years. For the pharmacy program, it's actually thirty five thousand seven hundred and forty dollars Australian per year across the four years. And for the both and master's program, you're looking at close to $27,000 per year for both of those years. Um, for Saeed Muhammad Ali, if you are interested in education, in finding out about more about the engineering graduate programs, please come back and um, listen to Lute's presentation, which will take place at 7 10 pm local time, or pop into the booth and um, have a private chat with Lute beforehand or after this time slot. She'd be happy to talk to you. Thank you very much for listening. Please remember if I wasn't able to answer your question or if you think you'd have anything else that you'd like to ask, our staff are currently chatting and very eager to answer any questions you might have about studying at the University of Queensland. Up next is Lute, as I mentioned previously. She'll be on at 7, 10 p.m. local time. So please tune in to find out more about our engineering programs. We hope you have a great day.